<laughs> Harry. Oh, dude. What's up, fam? Dude, what are you doing? I'm just talking to some fans, some people are going to talk about life and Dude, I love that. I love that you talk to the fans. Thanks, man. You're, really good. You're a really good guy. It makes me happy to talk to you. Oh, man. I appreciate it. What's your beanie say, Noah? It says Noah. It's a really good fitting beanie. It fits so well. It's, it's comfortable. It's hard to find a good beanie sometimes. You know what I mean? Dude, you know me. You know I only wear beanies. You crush beanies. Bro, You're always beanies. in a beanie. What happened, man? You woke up today beanie-less. Uh, hold up. That's funny because... <laughs> tell 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 everybody uh the music you're making these days and and uh you know obviously you uh are an incredible musician artist uh what what did you put out recently that you're so proud of uh just put out a single it's called give up on us i put it out on friday let's go cool. um you know i think it's just i just put it out because i got in a weird relationship and i felt like i was putting too much into it than getting anything out of it Mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So I was like in my room and I was like might as well write a song about this feeling and feeling like you need to get out of a relationship but you don't have the courage or confidence to do so and you feel like you're not getting the love you deserve back and like you know you get content so people are just like I'll just try to figure it out try to make it work and knowing that like it's not going to work and knowing that like you have to be mature and be like let's end this and let's move on and like I don't want to but it has to happen for the both of us so we can live a happy life that whole thing you know so you are obviously like you're so talented, so gifted. You have so many incredible <laughs> qualities about you. But one thing I love is that you use your platform and to tell a real story, to tell your story, to tell, to inspire people. Um, explain why that's important to people that are watching that have gifts like you have and have, um, you know, talents and why it's so important to use that gift to help people because you've had a, a really crazy story um obviously um you know uh, a lot of that's public but um just just tell people kind of how uh how music has changed your life and how using your platform to help people really is the way to way to go um i think just for me for people who don't know i had cancer about five and a half years ago and they gave me a couple months to live with the cancer. And so for me, taking that and knowing that, like, what do I want in my life? And how did I feel? And taking those moments and realizing that, like, I might have a couple months to live at 20 years old. And how do I take that? And how do I do something great? And how do I leave a mark behind? And I realized I wouldn't have left anything behind if I passed away at 20 because I was so insecure living and growing up and trying to figure out who I am in this world. And then getting sick made me realize what I love to do. And what I love to do, the passion is music. But the, pur the purpose for me isn't the music, the passion is the music. Like, I think the purpose is to help people. I think the purpose is to, is to make people find their passion, make them feel like they're happy, and make them feel loved, and you know what I'm saying? So it's like, for me, taking the pain and taking all the drama and turning it into music was the easiest way for me because it's not easy to talk about shit sometimes. It's easy for me to write about it and then express it through song. So I think taking pain and turning it into action and turning it into something that you love, action. So it's like I took it into action, into making music, but you could take your pain and turn it into feeding someone. You could turn it into being a doctor. You could turn it into being an artist and draw something. You could turn it into helping your neighbors, but like take the pain that you're dealing with because we're all dealing with pain and doing something. All of us. So it's like all of us. Yeah, I think that's what I, we relate with that. If you're going through your thing your sickness and all that and I think you've made the biggest change you are going through that mm -hmm. um, and that's been really inspiring you knowing you throughout the years and like seeing like the growth that you've had and just so soon is like very inspiring and like admirable thank you man you said a couple things that I was really um that really touched my heart just now um one thing is that pa your passion is the music but your purpose is actually helping people. And I, I think I can resonate to that so much because, you know, we have, you also said another thing that was really profound. You said, you said, um, we all have pain. And I think with Instagram and things on the internet, and I think a lot of people feel like, 
they're alone in their pain. They feel like they see this glorified world and this glorified, uh, you know, social media, and they they think that people are are really happy. And yeah, we can have happy moments, but all of us are facing pain to some degree in one area or another. So, just thank you, first of all, for saying that. Second of all, um, I can relate to the fact that. You know, I God has given me these talents to be able to sing and to dance and to, you know, entertain. And, and yes, that's a passion, but without a purpose, uh, it's just a passion and there's no purpose behind it. And so I think what you said there was so, so, so profound because there's so many people who are talented who don't know what to do with their talent because they don't have their purpose or they're using their talent but it's in almost in vain because they're they're using it for their own selfish gain and so i think when you can find your purpose um with your with your passion it it really can um elevate you to the next level and really you really can find um, fulfillment in that, you know? Absolutely. And knowing that, like, I think now is a perfect time to find that out where you're just sitting at home. This is the perfect time to explore your passion, to explore things that, like, you wish you could have done, like, sewing. Mm -hmm. If someone wants to sew, like, go fucking sew, you know? Like, like, mm -hmm. If there's, like, it's, like, the simplest things of, like, I don't know. I feel like you got to be there for yourself. And once you love yourself, you have to be there for your community. So start being there for your neighbors. Start helping out your local churches start mm -hmm. helping out like there's so many things that we could do as people to help and when you help you know how fulfilled you feel and like even just helping someone for a food drive like i did that a couple months ago and like when i was in a bad place and it just like brought me out of some some shit you know and it brings you back into like a good you know a good flow and i think just people watching and people just need to feel loved and people need to feel like they are worth something and not feel like they're worthless because we all feel like that sometimes and i don't think people like know that mm -hmm. you know we all feel the same thing and so from i think it's just now it's like we need to be there for people we need to just start living a life that i feel like everyone deserves it's hard i don't know it's just like it's hard because I see a lot of like things, like see a lot of people in pain. A lot of people hit me up and just like talk to the craziest shit. So I'm sure with you too. Mm. But yeah, man. Yeah, I, um, going back to and, and it's just all these little these little words that you know people hear: passion, pain, purpose. Uh, those are three P's. I think you could make a a little thing these are the three p's passion pain and purpose and find your passion um use your pain and um find your purpose and i think for for you you experienced this severe um sickness um which caused you to you know kind of come to the end of yourself in a way of like you know i'm i'm looking at possibly you know death and a lot of people don't want to look at death. They don't want to face death. They don't want to even, rem they don't want to know that death even exists. They don't, they do, but they just push it to the side because they're scared. They don't know what's going to happen next. And so they're living their life for the second and the moment. And things that happen in the second and the moment, oftentimes you wake up in the morning with regret. You know what I mean? And so um, I think my, my, uh, with kind of some wisdom that I've acquired over the years of making a lot of dumb mistakes and uh, is that, you know, we, what, what is my purpose? Therefore you have to look at death. You have to look at the fact that we are going to die eventually. And it's a scary thing. Yeah. And it's not something that we're trying to scare people, but it's, it's, it's a thought that re it, it forces you to go because you were forced you and I were forced at a, at a young age, me, because I was doing a lot of drugs and I was actually so deep into it and no one really knew that I was, you know, my security was checking my pulse at night to see if I was alive, you know? And so yeah. with that being, and with you, you, with your cancer, um, you know, not knowing whether, you know, you were going to die or not. And that's, that's a, that's a, that's kind of what you call coming to the, to the end of yourself and uh with that being said um forces you to either give up and just say well this is it i can just you know whatever or you can say what what was my purpose on this earth 
did I have a purpose? Was there a reason? Or am I just because, you know, there's a lot of people who don't believe in, in, a, in a God or don't believe in, you know, they believe in this is all chance. And as yeah. I look at this, as I look at, you look at this very, very quick. I'm going to turn this around. Um, you look at the trees and you look at the sky and you look at the details of just a, a leaf. And you look wow. at all that detail right there and you say to yourself, that was an accident you look at your the lines in your fingers and you and and you look at all the intricate detail there's no way that this is a chance that that, that a bang it's like it's like shaking up a box of gold and then a rolex just pops out pops out crazy. yeah <laughs> so i think that it's just a reminder to people that you know we aren't an accident this we do have a purpose and um and uh you know, God will reveal himself to you as you keep looking. Do you remember, do you remember what you said at church when you spoke? That, I have it in my journal, actually. Hold on, let me grab it. That one thing that made you, like, repeat. I think it's on the background of your phone. I don't know if it still is. Yeah. Bro, that changed the game for me. I want Ready? You to know. Just say, uh, tell people, because this is some good, good stuff. Let me find it in my journal. That that was amazing. How's 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 Hales going? How's the life over there? You guys look like you're living a nice little. Man, we're so blessed. Uh, Haley's do she's she's working. She has her passion that she's she's uh, you know waking up and and tapping into every day. And um, we both have what's good about our relationship is we both have our own thing. You know she yeah she she has passions. I have passions and. You know, we can we can kind of separate, do our thing, and come back, and uh, you know, be be together. Did you find the thing or no? I'm getting there. No, I can't find. It. This it's is like, like I've everything from church. No, totally. It's like there's like integrity, indecision, imbalance. Uh, uh, integrity, indecision, imbalance. Uh, in in the indecision. Yes. Uh, integrity. So it's like if all those things are are lined up, you're less likely to be anxious in that moment because those things are in order. You know, like if you have um, a. Uh, oh, I found it. Okay. Found it. Okay, go ahead, baby. It's intake, indecision, integrity, intention, imagination, isolation, imbalance, intake. Oh, that's it. That is. That's it. Boom. Yeah. I got that from uh, Stephen Furtick. You know Stephen Furtick? No. Uh, he's a he's a pastor. Um, but uh, that was amazing though when you when you said that and you you explained it at that moment when you were like just thinking yeah. about going to sing and all that that whole thing. It's like, I, I, exactly. I, I've, I've been using that every day since. Honestly, that's awesome. Because if you're doing anything, it just like it just it's so simple yet. It just like teaches absolutely, you, like, where yeah, you're at, you know? exactly, because we we are only on our present moment right now, you know, and and it's really hard. I heard a quote the other day that I thought was really cool. Is obviously we have to we have to think and we have to make decisions, but there was a there was something that said like people who think all the time only can think about only have thoughts to think about or something to, or something like that i thought it was kind of tight and not like action well just like sense of like well just look i don't know like i feel like when you look in like i'm right here i'm in nature obviously you know how nature is so important you and Jaden, and always you guys are always doing things like going to the top of mountains and just chilling <laughs> with nature you know so it's like when you're in with nature, a lot of times you can just look at the nature and you're not really thinking about much. You're just grateful to be surrounded by God's creation. You know what I mean? Nature is number one thing. For anybody ever watching, like, always be in nature. Always. That's one, always. That saved my life, bro. Like, just nature, some good friends, some good conversation. We have to get on a Zoom call still. We yeah, we do it. have to get on a Zoom call and still. Yeah, just we got to get everybody on this. <laughs> just... Man, are you sponsored by Zoom, bro? Dude, stop, bro. We need to... <laughs> bro, don't change. Yo, what's good with... What's next for Justin, though? 
Hit them, hit them. Uh, all right. Well, I was supposed to be on tour right now, which is crazy. I was supposed to be like, you know, dancing, singing, performing. You're gonna go off. Yeah, dude. Damn, that was so sad. Obviously, things have like taken a crazy turn, and uh, so we don't really know when public gatherings of that amount are gonna be okay again. Um, yeah. So. Uh, Basically, right now I'm just in the studio. I'm making tunes. I'm creating. I'm, uh, you know, doing all that sort of stuff. And um, yeah, kind of just um, playing things by ear at this point. Going on, going on runs. Pardon? Going on any runs over there on the green fields? Oh yeah. Uh, I went. I woke up the other morning really early, and I went for a run around my property. It's, look at. Look at this. It's, I'm so freaking blessed. Look at this greenery, bro. Bro, me and the boys are going to come camp. Please. Please. We're just going to come to tent. We'll have our social distance. And then Please. we'll just camp out there. I love you, man. That was so, I love you, bro. I'm, I'm proud so of you. I'm so grateful for you. I'm grateful for you. I'm proud of you. I'm inspired always. Thank you, man. Keep, keep bringing love, okay? Sir. Timmy's. Tim Hortons. Have you ever been there? No. It's a Canadian staple. When you come to Canada, we'll go to Tim Hortons. That's all. That's all we need to do. I love you, bro. All right, bro. Take care. I love you. Peace.